Hi everybody, Randy Peterson back with you once again for Storm Bowling and Rotogrip. You know, we've been talking about how to select the right bowling ball. Today we're going to talk about how to select the right bowling ball for the tournament bowler. Man, what a hard decision. There is so much information out there. You know, we talk about core design. We talk about low RG versus high RG. Uh, asymmetrical cores versus symmetrical cores. I mean, there's so much out there. Uh, pin placements, and we'll get to some of that in a bit. But let me see if I can somehow simplify this for you. When you're talking about RG, a low RG ball, which would be this core here versus a high RG uh, core. The lower the RG, the more mass there is in the center of that bowling ball, the sooner that ball wants to get rolling. A high RG ball, there's more mass to the outer shell. So the longer that ball is going to take to get into a roll. So food for thought is the lower the RG, the less resistance it has to rotation, the earlier it wants to roll. Not, to, not the same for a symmetrical core. That core is going to take a little bit longer. The other difference between asymmetrical and symmetrical is that an asymmetrical ball, once it does make its move, it's gonna be much more pronounced than say a symmetrical core. So two completely different motions when throwing these bowling balls down the lane. For you tournament bowlers out there, you're going to need a wide variety of equipment based on the diverse lane conditions you're going to face. There's no way you'll be able to take one bowling ball and bowl well at every center you go to. It's impossible. So I want you to think of it as kind of like trying to put a set of golf clubs together. You're going to want to have high-end equipment that is the most aggressive bowling balls on the market, something that's going to be able to grip the slickest oil patterns, all the way down to the real dry, dry lane or dry oil patterns or short oil patterns and everything in between. As the lanes go through transition, you're gonna to wanna to be able to have options to go to other bowling balls so that you can maintain a consistent ball reaction that you're used to seeing. Hey, tournament bowlers, we're gonna talk about another factor in laying out bowling equipment that'll help your game and help you throw more strikes. It's called the pin and pin position. Remember, all this is based off of your positive axis point, whether you're left or right-handed. But the rule of thumb is simple. The closer I move that pin to my positive axis point, the earlier the ball wants to roll. The farther away from my positive axis point I move that pin, the longer the ball is going to go down the lane. Also, if I keep the pin above my fingers, it's going to tend to make that ball go a little bit longer down the lane than if I were to, say, put that pin underneath the fingers. So obviously, there's a lot of combinations. That's why you need to have a good professional pro shop operator properly laid the bowling balls out for you. Good luck. Coming up next, we're gonna talk about how to care for that brand new ball.